Hello again, and welcome to another installment of the Pug's Thoughts in the Doghouse. I'm Pug, and once again we're going to talk to Wellington about the Central Washington University Wildcat football team. Now, uh, Wellington, you, hey, hey, what's wrong? Hey, my boy the tears! Uh, what's, uh, you're upset the Wildcats missed the playoffs, aren't you? And they didn't win a national championship this year, did they? No, no, they didn't, yeah. Uh, do you still think your expectations were, uh, do you think your expectations were too high now? No? Why is that? Alright, like he said at the beginning of the year, uh, you always want to think, you always want to set high expectations for every, uh, team, uh, regardless if you're college or professional. But what we did, we did win the conference, didn't we? And that's something that we can hang our hats upon, isn't it? Right, right, okay, you know, it's our third conference championship in a row, it's still our conference to lose, and it shows that we were at least competitive enough to the point where uh, you know we, we can hang in there and contend with the rest of the great Northwest Athletic Conference. And isn't that a pretty big deal? Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought. So overall, how did you th how did you think uh, we played this year? Uh, okay, all right, not as good as last year, right? Well, yeah, but well, like, you got to admit that's kind of hard to top when you're the number one team in the country and you're going to playoff games, right? And it's also hard to top when Central, in a two-year span, lost their best quarterback in school's history, their best wide receiver in school's history, and they lost the majority of the guys who were on the number one defense uh, in the country last year. you got to admit, that's, that's it's, it's kind of to be expected. Expected, that is. Eh, okay, all right. So, but Wellington, it's okay. You know, you got uh, you got basketball season coming up. Right, yeah, are you excited about that? Oh, oh yes, very excited. So, uh, do you think the uh, women's and men's basketball teams can make the playoffs? Uh, oh, you do, oh, you do. Uh, uh, are they going to win a national championship? Uh, oh, okay, all right, we're done. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Wellington, uh, well, thank you very much for coming on and talking football with us. Uh, I'm going to let you go enjoy uh, basketball season now, all right? All right, oh, what's that? Oh, that's right. Wellington says the Wildcats are still number one. All right, we'll talk to you later, Wellington. Okay, so, now since Wellington is going back to Central Washington University and uh, cheering on the men's and, bas uh, men's and women's basketball teams, here's what I thought of about the Wildcats without Wellington. Frankly, I thought we played exactly the way I thought we were going to play. You know, when, when you lose so many key players from your previous year, where you went undefeated in the regular season, you were hosting playoff games, and, uh, um, you know, when you lose by a blocked a uh, blocked point after a uh, touchdown uh, to the eventual defending champions. It's kind of hard to come back, and, you know, the, the Great Northwest Athletic Conference was kind of up in the air this year. Uh, the Wildcats only were able to get the conference by a game uh, compared to other years where they won it by at least three or something like that. So um, I expected them to, to at least win the conference, and they did. So now here is... The big bug of poop. Despite winning the conference, the Wildcats missed the playoffs. Now, somebody asked me, how can a team in Division II football uh, win the conference and still miss the playoffs? Well, here's your answer. As I said in my preseason video, the Wildcat, in order for a team to go to the playoffs, in order for a conference champion to go to the playoffs in, uh, in football, Division II, you have to have a minimum of six teams. The Great Northwest Athletic Conference has five. So what happens is, is teams who play in our conference, for football, just, just for football, not other sports, but just for football, we have to depend on being regionally ranked. Remember I said at the beginning of the season with Wellington that the country is divided into four areas, and you have to be ranked in those region, regional polls, and you need to be ranked sixth or above. If teams who are ranked sixth or above go to the playoffs. The Wildcats were ranked twice in the regional polls uh, this last season, but they were both ranked, uh, but both times they were at the eighth spot. So they were two spots out from going to the playoffs. And this is this just goes back to the complaint about the Great Northwest uh, Athletic Football Conference. When you look at any other sports with this conference, with maybe the exception of football and baseball, for the most part, it's a healthy conference. Women's soccer has enough teams. 
Uh, volleyball definitely, volleyball and basketball have enough teams. There's a pile of teams for cross country. Softball's got enough teams. And so you see the football conference is one team short. So the, 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 the conference champion, unless you're regionally ranked, which the Wildcats were the last two years, are kind of always getting screwed over. There used to be a bowl game uh, that yeah, the conference champion could at least participate in if they missed the playoffs. Uh, but that bowl game has been canceled due to money reasons. And so what needs to happen, and I know and this is probably a rant you're going to see next year if the Wildcats win the conference. What needs to happen is we need one more team in this great Northwest Athletic Conference. We really do. Just one more football team. Western Washington. I know that Central and Western, we don't like each other very much particularly in basketball, I, I understand we're rivals, but y'all need to bring back your football team. You really do. You need to bring back that football team because then it will establish our rival again. We can have our battle in Seattle when it's you and us, and uh, we'll have six teams. Another thing that can, that, that can happen, and I hope that happens, is we need an NAIA school to go to Division Two. There are rumors there's been rumors for the last two years that two schools could make the jump from NAIA to Division II and could potentially play in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. And they are Azusa Pacific in California and Southern Oregon. So hopefully one of those schools can bump up to Division II. And last but not least, Dixie State, our college from Utah, you need to stay in this conference. Please, please, please stay in this conference. Here's the deal with Dixie State. Their football team is the only team from the school that plays in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Why is this? Because the major because the majority uh, the rest of their teams are playing in the Pac West, which includes teams from California, Hawaii, and then in Utah. And the reason why they play with us, our conference, is because the Pac West doesn't have a football conference. And for years. Dixie State has been trying to get into the Rocky Mountain Conference because for them it would make more sense to play in the Rocky Mountain Conference to do geographic and financial reasons. And they've already talked about possibly leaving this conference altogether. But please, Dixie State, stay in this conference, okay? Please stay. <laughs> All right. If you're going to leave, wait until we have seven teams in this conference so that way if you do leave, it's not going to hurt the rest of the teams. The Great Northwest Athletic Conference needs that 16. We really need that 16 team. Because when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter if Dixie State, Humboldt State, Western Oregon, Simon Fraser, or Central Washington wins the conference. Bottom line is, it's very hard to get a postseason berth out of this conference. Particularly when this conference is in the same region as the Lone Star Conference, which is down in Texas, and there's one other one that's called the, MA, the, the MIAA forgot the acronym for that, but those two are those two teams produce the majority of the playoff teams. And so the voters will look to those schools more than they do the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Why? South biased. That's the that's the reason why. So well, overall, it was a good season. It was a fun season. I'm glad we won the conference and uh, go Wildcats. So well, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time on the Pugs Thoughts in the Doghouse.